Hey there, folks. Welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 3 on the Mysterious JG. It's actually later in the same day when I recorded the first session. Um, I'm picking this back up for a bit. Don't want to play too long. Got tomorrow off. It's a holiday. Still want to try to get some stuff done. I'm sure this is fascinating for you guys to hear. I don't know why. I'm, I'm more critical of myself for going off on tangents in Mass Effect 3 than any other game. Uh, probably because... I really enjoy the Mass Effect series, but it's, it kind of takes its time getting going sometimes, so I feel like I'm responsible for making things move quickly. The game doesn't always move that quickly. We are checking for downloadable content, and then we're going to stop doing that eventually. Uh, as a side note, uh, I've mentioned this before, and I think the person who first told me to go check it out is no longer a regular viewer of my channel, and if he is, he's just not commenting as much as he used to. But um, I had one or two folks over the years push me to check out Retsu Pure because I like LPing, and uh, anybody who follows the channel for any great length of time will pick up that I'm a big fan of Mystery Science Theater, uh, the show where they would make fun of bad movies, and Retsu Pure makes fun of bad Let's Plays. Um, the only reason I'm mentioning this now is because I recently watched a video on their channel which... I really enjoyed called Mass Erect and it was not them making some kind of Mass Effect parody or anything like that it was just an actual like flash sex game and they they, they a lot of visual censorship in this particular Retsu Pure video because they didn't want to show anything that they couldn't show uh, and mostly they were just making fun of the people who play those games and uh, it's a Newgrounds game, so I spent a lot of time making fun of the reviews of the game. But yeah, it was a game, it was a, like a sex game set in space, and of course, the game itself was not called this. It was called, I believe, Meet and Fuck Star Mission? It's Meet and Fuck something, which is ridiculous in and of itself. <laughs> but the video making fun of this was called Mass Erect. And um, that's not the reason I'm less playing Mass Effect 3, but it actually did plant the seed in my mind. Oh yeah, I need to pick up Mass Effect 3. Like, between Bobo and Bean almost being done with Mass Effect 2 and finding a video called Mass Erect that cracked me up, Mass Effect 3 has been thrust to the forefront. Yes, thrust. Thank you. Okay, let's get back to the game here. nobody has been sent to Mars. They have to go to Mars. Because Liara has pinpointed on Mars, conveniently close to Earth, on Mars, the Protheans had developed a super weapon that can save the day. Oh, convenient. And now we're fighting, um... Oh, you know what? It's time to level up Liara. I was gonna do this off camera and I completely forgot. I'm sorry, folks. I really am. Okay. She's got warp ammo. I may go back and reset the ammo, or the special power, the... The bonus power that Shepard has, but I probably can't be bothered. Gonna do like I've been doing with everybody else, give them one point in everything, then max out their passive stuff. Not even reading what those do until I get to the choices. This uh, recharge speed powers goes up, that's not bad. Uh, health and bonuses by 20%, that's not very much. So she's not gonna be our most survivable po uh, party member. Power and force duration by 30, weapon damage by 20. Generally, I go for weapon damage, but with her, powers are probably the key. And uh, this recharge speed of singularity, nice. All squad mate battle powers, fuck that. Singularity. And uh, that will be the thing that I work on. Uh... See, this is a power you would have to be, like, biotic specialist to have as Shepard. Dangles enemies, hee hee hee. Warp I like the idea of. But I don't think it causes raw damage in quite the way this does. So since she's got passive bonuses to Singularity Recharge, I might as well work on it being the first thing she... Ah, but I've been... I've been working on the, uh... Yeah, whatever. Fine. I've been getting ammo powers going for people first before anything else but okay. wait are you talking to me 
You're on my side. You should be rooting for me, hiding forever. You're going to need more than guns to finish them, Shepard. What makes you say that? Am I not supposed to be fighting them with guns? Is there an infinite number of them? Can't just shoot them. Yeah, I guess not. I guess something else is happening. What's the... Why can't I just shoot them? You can't hide forever. That's all of them. What the yeah, fuck were you talking about? That was a completely normal battle where we had to keep killing them until there were no more left. Why did she kept saying, you can't just shoot them? You can't hide forever. You can't... You, you, that was exactly what we had to do. It was like every other battle in the game. I mean, was I supposed to come over here and like, oh, if I hadn't killed them, but I ran over here, there'd be a button and it would have triggered... An ex Maybe there's a plot explosion I was supposed to trigger, but that really did appear to be just exactly the same as every normal battle. I don't know. Anyway, although I'm now like out of ammo for it already almost, and I'm a little nervous about that, uh... Just getting access to the, uh, just getting access to the, uh, sniper rifle is already making me feel a little bit better. Although the fact that they could not, I guess I was supposed to kill them some other way. The fact that I could, um, that we were fighting at a distance and they couldn't close on me made that battle this seem to go station. a lot smoother than some of the others did. The next, there was chaos. Could they be working with the Reapers? Doubtful. But I suppose anything's possible. Okay, so if I come over here, I'll find out the elevator's not working. Otherwise, I'm not sure why I needed to go through all that horse hockey. The elevator. Look for another way up. Okay, so that was why. But yeah, I guess uh, maybe if you were not a sniper, it was going to be more difficult to kill them from where I was. But oh, my ammo is fully recharged again. That's good. Your squad mates do not have your uh, difficulty with limited ammo, as you may might notice. What the heck is that? Why is that flashing? Maybe that represents uh, grenades or uh, heavy weapon ammo. I, uh, I'm not used to the fact that I don't have the singularity projector because, of course, since it was, uh, I got it for getting the collector's edition or pre-ordering through GameStop or whatever the fuck I did to get it in Mass Effect 2, I had it right from the beginning, so. It's a little weird not to start out with that weapon in this game. Now that's where we need to go. I feel like I should be over looking at this over here. This is where they were. But it's just an enemy spawning area. It's not actually someplace you're allowed to go. As I mentioned in the last video, Ash will be removed from uh, our party for a big chunk of the story. So I'm kind of already a little sad about that. I missed having Ash in the party. Like leveled up already? Huh. So I shouldn't have put that point there. I should have saved it for singularity, but... You, Ashley, my dear, are ready for more power. You can do increased health damage and just damage damage. This is the... Yeah, I'll just give you the... I won't do the whole squad mate bonus thing because I never know if that stacks, how it works if there's more than one squad made with an ammo power, I, yeah. Thirty percent capacity or headshot damage. Oh, they're both good choices. Or I could go for tactical cloak. Recharge speed or melee damage. No, recharge speed would be the way to go here. The recharge speed on that isn't all that... doesn't take that long, really. 
This is the radius one. That's probably what I would have picked. So that's fine. Maybe it actually bases it on my choices in the previous game. Um... Freeze combo. Increase damage of frozen and chilled. Yeah, in theory, your whole thing can be like a cryo ammo plus incinerate build, which does a hell of a lot of damage, I suppose, but that's like you gotta really focus in on, on that approach. Headshot damage, even though I'm constantly missing headshots. Or fitness. Seems like a really tiny, tiny increase. But I just don't care about melee at all. Or I could get start out in cryo ammo. Freeze, improve the odds of freezing. I'll feel silly having three different ammo powers. Since you can obviously only use one at a time. How much damage does Stricky Grenade do? 750. There must be something that improves this, the radius. It doesn't improve it by very much. Because, yeah, there's the one that I thought was actually how it was supposed to work all along. So I think if you get this uh, grenade power up high enough, it could start to become useful, which is the way all these work, I suppose. Alright, well... I want to eventually get up to health and damage. Like, I want to eventually get to the point where I'm doing the maximum damage to everything. Uh, it does do some health damage. Uh, in order to get there, I have to get through level 5, where none of the bonuses seemed all that hot. You, I'm just going to save up and get your singularity improved. Cerberus Trooper. Oh. Oops. I guess this is not a safe spot. Oopsie. Get back here where it's safe with you guys. You guys have any interest in helping or? Grenade right there, Ash. Uh, they don't seem that interested in this fight. I guess I should. What? Did it blow up like directly in my face? I don't understand what happened there. Oh well, there was a quick kill, and I was supposed to move into position. I'm not sure exactly what happened there. Well, we just leveled up again. Because my last leveling up just got blowed up by me not succeeding in basic stuff. So what did I do with you? I think I increased your... Uh... Yeah, you're following the same path as Shepard, basically. Look at you following your hero, Shepard. Oh, oops. I guess it didn't work. So I guess I failed in my efforts to kill them. Yeah, the whole shields only work when you're in officially sanctioned cover thing bothers me. It's 
straight out of uh, Assassin's Creed. You found a disturbance in the force? Is that what's going on? Well, I said I wasn't going to do this, but sure enough, cloak and melee. Early on, when I don't have a lot of ammo capacity, I guess that's my excuse. But no, I mean, if I wanted to do cloak and melee, you can certainly do a cloak and melee build. And that's like the concept. The concept of being good with, with sniper weapons is just too much to resist. Headway. Not the right way. Not the wrong way. The headway. Miss Mika, or Micah, possibly. Thank you for your kind offer of new and cutting edge technology. As with every other offer you've made, we're going to have to decline. Our property proprietary rights experts have gone over your contracts again and found them lacking again, and in short, we're not interested. Please don't contact us anymore with your generous offers. That someone right into Exo Jenny. C. Harrison, Miss Micah. It's possible if you're really paying attention uh, in the first two Mass Effect games, that's a reference to something. I don't remember. What the? This looks interesting. What the what? Let me try. Okay, that is uh, ammo. A uh, grenade pickup. Do I want to change my loadout? Okay, so here's the deal with weapons in this game. Um, depending on your class, you have different carrying strength. And uh, the more weight you have, the uh, longer it takes your powers to reload. So. If you only carry one or two weapons, your powers recharge faster. If you're carrying one of every kind of weapon, your powers recharge slower. If you're a soldier, you're probably... See, my, my weapon recharge speed decreases now that I have a submachine gun. But having a submachine gun also means uh, that I've got three different weapons in case my ammo runs out. I have no weapons mods at this point. But I did just get 300 experience. That's odd. Talking to Liara is probably going to continue the story. What the? That's odd. I can't continue until Shepard talks to me. Huh? Let me try pausing and not continuing. I... What the security? Let me try um halting. Yeah. Hmm. That's odd. Shepard, see if you can gain access to the pedway. That's where pedophiles go. I can't seem to unlock the live feeds, but there can't you see that? Who's that woman in the vid? And pedagogues too. That's Doctor Ivacore. She got here about a week ago. Any luck? Jeez. Clearly evil. Headway's been locked out. All right. Looks like there's construction nearby. We can get out on the roof. We can find a way around from there. Our right. server shows Let's up move. and attacks us here, which they undoubtedly will. Eva Core, huh? Oh, I shouldn't assume she's evil, but she if, if she arrived just about a week ago, and in the meantime, this place has been attacked by Cerberus, she's probably evil. I'm assuming that you guys are using your ammo powers. I mean, you should be. Of course, I wasn't using mine, so I'm not one to talk. Alright. I was thinking I could use a grenade in the next fight, because I know where I could get more, but uh, this 
will probably close off behind me. Storm creates illusory uh, sense of ru of needing to rush. Looks cool though. Hell? Looks like the alarm. Fight. The cross. They're at the final security. And that's where we're headed. So clicking R or L, because I was trying to click L to crouch, thinking of Fallout. Storm's causing interference. I didn't read that. James. He asked what our condition Repeat. is. Repeat. Damn it. That storm's going to be in here very soon. Yeah, I think it's already here. Good point. Relax. James, you sound like the audio from that uh, car chase and uh, the Shadow Broker DLC. So in this game, you find like armor and breastplates and shoulder pads and stuff that give you little. Could Doctor What's Her Face have done that? They give you little boots to health and whatnot, but I never put them on because I don't like monkeying with Shepard's default look. He's so handsome in this game. I like the inf the. Uh, not the Inferno armor, but the, uh... You know, it's the DLC armor I got in the second game. Uh, I never really used it in the... Jerks. No, that's pretty much how they roll. Um... God, what the hell was it called? Uh... Those outer systems, the Terminus, yeah, Terminus armor. And it looked really cool. I liked the design in a, like, 12-year-old boy sort of way with, like, black and red and jagged edges and whatnot. The kind of things I usually make fun of Mass Effect 2 for, but I liked in this case. Except that, um, they didn't create a separate version for Shepard when he wasn't wearing the helmet. So if he had it on, like, even when he's, like, talking to people... It would normally have the helmet off, like he's not in an, like a, a no atmosphere environment like he is now. He would always have the helmet on. It looks so stupid. From Shodan, the Shogun of Harlem, to Cameron Harrison. Cam, who the hell is that woman messing with my files? Get her out of here. I won't have my system messed up by some wannabe expert who'll be gone next week. Blah, 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 blah. Dr. Ava, seriously? Don't you remember what happened when I lost Lime? Oh, man. Seriously? What am I doing for, um... Experience? Yeah, you level up pretty quickly early in the game, I guess. But I think the cap is at 60, and, uh... That's a ways off. dark, I'm scared. Oh, and with the atmosphere venting, the, the photons coming out of our photon projector may be sucked out into the atmosphere. At least they've got those Japanese vending machines where you can get, like, uh... There's one thing, uh, Bobo and I went to a, a restaurant in Japan. It's like a, it was a rest stop on a fairly large highway, and we were there with a tour group. Flashlights. And, uh, there's a machine where you, uh, you place an order for food, and then you actually have to go to the restaurant to pick it up, because there's several different restaurants in the in the food court, and there's like a couple of machines that will take orders for any of them. Lots of different things you can order. It's very convenient, except that 
since you have to go talk to the people anyway, it doesn't come out of the machine. Or you can go pick it up from the people anyway. It's like, it's just a way of preventing the human interaction of actually placing an order with a, a restaurant employee. It's like, oh. it's like really, you, you dislike talking to people that much? Pretty sure that I'd hit that guy. I don't think I actually get to. Uh... Any of these people, Liara? I recognize a few, but I can't say I knew them. As the only Asari here, I think perhaps I was viewed with a little suspicion. I spent most of my time researching. I'm so much better than humans, I didn't feel the need to talk to them. Are you the one? Are you the one? So I found a small machine gun scope. And uh, that's something that you'll discover as we play through the game. There's Lots and lots and lots of pickups because now uh, you can modify weapons and the mods that you apply to weapons can be leveled up. So like I found a small machine gun scope one. If I were to find another small machine gun scope, it would be small machine gun scope two. And they stack and I think they go up to level five. And they might go up to ten, I don't remember. But it makes it, like, a little less critical that you find every single possible upgrade in these little areas. But still, it's like, I don't think you can actually max out your upgrades only with the ones that are purchasable. I think you actually have to find them in these little dungeon areas. So do I hop across here, or? Yes, I do. Now am I here where these guys were that we were fighting? I think I am. You are probably a plot corpse. Doesn't look like any of these guys dropped ammo, if indeed I am where they were, and I think I am. Uh, the place I specifically remember running out of ammo was when we were fighting from a tram car that we had been riding in. And once again, I guess I should be using grenades, because they are dropping periodic pickups. And unlike the heavy weapons ammo from the last game, you don't get an experience boost first. for not using them. There we go. We have access to the labs. They'll take us right to the tram station. Sweet. Hey, looks like there's a recording of what happened here. Check it out. Good stuff. They got Hulu Plus. Security station. Come in. We're seeing some odd activity down here. Our security protocols just kicked in. Everything's locked down. Doctor, I'll get you a report. Uh. Doctor Evil? Oh. Doctor Evil, hot check. I guess we know how Cerberus got in. I should have realized it when I met her. I was just so focused on finding a way to stop the Reapers. Yeah, you probably should have realized it when you met her. But, you know, not everyone's as smart as the mysterious JG, who, bear in mind, has already played through this game. <laughs> so I'm like, ooh, she just got here a week ago. She's evil. Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, I think I figured out that the bald dude, uh, who was voiced by, uh, Spike from Cowboy Bebop, was evil in Mass Effect 2 on my first trip through. I don't really remember. Anyway, folks, that's going to be it for this video. When we come back, we're going to say reassuring Paragon stuff to Liara, because blue girls deserve blue dialogue. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you'll join me next time. Bye-bye.